The Middle East is going up in flames, folks. The Middle East is going up in smoke. Are you serious? This is very concerning. This is grievous to my spirit. I hate war. I hate fear. I only want people to find the love of Jesus. But you'd have to bury your head in the sand to not see what's going on. Of course, the mass media has done that. As NATO forces, including hundreds of U.S. soldiers, are in the sands of Jordan as we speak, standing along the borders of Syria, building outposts with military vehicles and armored vehicles and, and weapons mounting up for something that's going to happen, right? And there's been blasts in Syria, but also Stephen of Oklahoma has been on the phone. There's a couple of things. There's been three earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. Christchurch, New Zealand, again, 5.8, 5.3, 5.8. While that's going on, folks, we still don't know for sure. Did the United States and the UK fly into Iranian airspace and fire missiles into two villages? We still don't know. It's not been confirmed or denied by the mass media. But many smaller outlets, including, of course, the Islamic Republic News Agency, are reporting that it did happen. So was the Daily Mail of the UK. And so was Alex Jones of Infowars.com. And while we're still try struggling with that information, we know right now that in Egypt, mass rallies today as Egypt is protesting against who? That military council, that rulers, that it says right in the Bible in Isaiah 19 that says that the council will be destroyed. If you go to Isaiah 19, read the Bible prophecy of verses 1 through 4. It tells you that Egypt would be overthrown. It explains to you that Hosea Mubarak would go. It says that the Lord would come riding through the midst of the people. And it says that the idols of Egypt would be moved at the presence of God. And we already know that during the riot it's last spring in Egypt that they actually went into the King Tut's museum and took eight of his idol gods right out of the, right out of the museum. It says that there will be brother against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, right where in Egypt, and it said, and that all happened, and it said that there would be a military council. It calls it the council, but it says the council will be destroyed, and there will be a new king, a fierce king, a cruel lord that will take over Egypt. Well, we're th right now we're at the point of the destruction of the council, and that's why the rallies, that's why the uprising's going on. Jesus said that these things would happen. He said in the last days you would know it because he said there'd be wars and there'd be rumors of wars. And nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdoms. And there'd be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places or diverse places. And all of these would be the beginning of sorrow. Now, while that's going on, there's been two huge explosions. Where? Damascus. And how many times have I told you that the prophecy of Isaiah 17:1? That had an ancient prophecy that has not been fulfilled yet for 3,000 years says that the burden of Damascus, behold, for the city of Damascus will no longer be a city but a ruinous heap. Well, folks, there was two explosions just hours ago as two car bombs attacked on Assyrian security sites in Damascus. It killed 40 people that we know of right now. Over 100 of them have been wounded. And most of these people were civilians. The Lebanese News Channel is reporting this. Who did it? Was it Assad's regime again fighting back the, the rebels and the people who are trying to overtake for nine months now or ten months uh, President Bashar Assad? Why shouldn't they rise up? He's killed over 5,000 of their people. 4,000 of them are missing. He's had snipers shoot the young men in the streets. He's terrorized grandmother in the middle of the night. He took the soccer stadium and turned it into a prison. This is a madman. This is a tyrant. He might wear a, a Monty suit and his wife may have loved to shop in Paris, but he has got blood dripping from the hands of an abominable move as he continues his tyrancy, his tyranny upon the people of Syria. And it's all prophesied in the Bible. Matter of fact, it says that in Jeremiah, the ancient prophet of God. Can I get some more coffee? Who said it in the, in the 49th chapter? He said these words. Hang on a second. He said in, in Jeremiah 49, 23 through 27, that there would come a great war in Syria, Damascus, and that there 
the young men would be shot in the streets, which they have. The protesters, he kills them every day. He's killed 250 of them in the last two days before today's huge explosions. And who did these explosions? Maybe it was the people fighting back. Maybe it was Assad. Maybe it was a false flag. Maybe it was Al-Qaeda. There's a lot going on, folks. There's a lot of tension. And while all this is going on, the world is still asleep at the switch in its relationship with Jesus Christ. You still got Iran. Oh, oh, oh. Did the United States and the United Kingdom, did they actually fly planes into Iranian airspace and fire missiles into the two villages? Did they do it? Paul, get real. Well, they did fly drones into Iran and Iran took them down either through a cyber ability or shot them down or the Americans lost control of their own drones when their own drones wouldn't come home. And then it happened again in an island off the coast of Africa, the exact same island that China's been asked to build a naval base. Did the Chinese bring the drones down? Do you really know what's going on in Syria? Oh, by the way, Russia has two battleships setting in the Mediterranean off the coast of Syria. And America has one as well. Russia's battleships have missiles on it that can fire at the speed of 2,000 miles an hour, undetected by radar until it's too late. NATO and American troops are standing in the sands of Jordan, staring across into the sunset of Syria, looking deep into the eyes of Assad, waiting upon potentially, I think, a no-fly zone to be established. The problem is that Russia will blow those planes out of the sky, or can they? And while all this is going on, the mass media is worried about Snooky and the situation in Jersey Shore. They're worried. About, they're still counting how many desperate housewives are in Atlanta. They're worried about what costume Lady Gaga's wearing. They're choking and they're struggling on Justin Bieber. They can't have a clue what's going on. We're more worried about how much... Cope, Charlie Sheen is snorting that how many lives are dying in the Middle East. And it's all happening because of the second coming of Jesus Christ. You heard me right. Christ isn't doing it. It's the evil, the diabolical demon spirits that are crawling out of the dark creep and crevices of the human existence. As man begins to hate one another, the Bible says because iniquity abound, the love of many would wax cold. The Bible says in Acts that it would, it would come to pass. He said that in the last days, I, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, on your sons and your daughters, and they shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. The old men will dream dreams. And upon my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Listen to what I'm telling you. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. You want to know why I get attacked so much? Because when I bring forth biblical truths, when I report current events and explain Bible prophecy, the haters from hell come at me with everything they got. They can't stand it. The Time after time after time after time, biblical prophecy keeps happening. For instance, when back in January, and I was telling them that one day Syria was going to become a battlefield, according to the Bible prophecies, they mocked me to scorn. They called me a false prophet, even though I said I'm not a prophet. I'm just reading Bible prophecy of a prophet by the name of Jeremiah. Or when the birds fell out of the sky, and the fish... And the cows, and I did prophesy that the cows would start falling dead, not because God gave me a specific word, but because I was I received that the word of Hosea was coming to pass, and I went ahead and stood and prophesied it five days before the 212 cattle fell over in Stockton, Wisconsin, and then 7,000 buffalo, and, and on and on and on and on. You see, we will prophesy. We don't have to declare ourselves prophets, though. There's a difference. I'm a pastor and an evangelist. But I do prophesy from time to time. That doesn't make me a prophet, though. You have to understand that, what the Bible says here. See, in these last days, God would have to tear, turn loose the dreams and visions upon the body of Christ. Why? To help warn those to come to Christ. But I said this about Syria, and they left me to scorn. And now that the bombs are exploding, they're silent. They can only come and attack me on something like whether or not did America hit Iran or not. And we don't have a confirmation or a denial yet. You give your life to Jesus. Do it now. Send me a personal message right here on YouTube. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Do it now.